In this video, we are going to find out the derivative dy by dx of this equation. So, first of all, we will apply d by dx on both sides of the equation. So, we have d by dx of x cube plus y y cube plus 3axy is equal to 0. Now, we will apply d by dx on each term. So, we have d by dx of x cube plus d by dx of y cube plus d by dx of 3axy is equal to 0. Now, we can write so d by dx of x cube plus uh, d by dx of y cube plus 3a d by dx of xy is equal to 0 because 3a is the coefficient of this term so we can write this coefficient before d by dx now the derivative of x cube is 3x square and then the derivative of y cube we have to take the derivative of y cube but we cannot differentiate y cube with respect to x so we will apply chain rule so we have d by dy of y cube multiplied by dy by dx plus 3a and now we have to take the derivative of xy so in order to differentiate xy we will apply the product rule which is d by dx of uv is equal to u times derivative of v plus v times derivative of Now, here we can see that we have x in place of u and y in place of v. So, we will put the values of u, x and y in place of u and v in this formula. So, what we will get? We have x dy by dx plus y d by dx of x is equal to 0. Now, then 3x square plus the derivative of y cube is 3y square with dy by dx plus 3a x dy by dx plus y times 1 is y because the derivative of x is 1 and when we multiply 1 with y so we will get y again now We will simplify it further. So we have this expression, and then we will take this term and this term on the other side of equation, which are without derivative, and those terms which are with derivative, we will write on the left hand side. And the terms without derivative, we will write them on the right side. Now here we can take 3 and dy by dx common. So we can write this expression as 3 times y square plus a x. multiply by dy by dx and then here we can take minus 3 common so we have x square plus a y now we will divide this factor by taking this factor on the other side of the equation so we have dy by dx is equal to minus 3 times x square plus a y upon 3 times y square plus ax and now we can divide these three so we have minus x square plus a y upon y square plus ax so this is the derivative of the given equation